There's a lot of cacti here. They look just like the ones in the Wile E. Coyote cartoons. I'm in St. Anthony's Monastery and my visit didn't start so well. I wanted to attend the Vespers. This is an evening prayer. It's about two hours long, I think. So I came ready to worship God there. And the monk said, oh, since you're the monk I talked to said, since you're Armenian Orthodox, you have to hang out in the narthex, not in the main hall of the church. And the narthex is like the hallway. And I tried, but through the glass and the door, I couldn't hear or see anything. And then this was, it was useless. So I left. I walked out and I was starting to get upset. And I was like, screw this. Screw everybody here. Screw the Greeks. I am going home. By home, I mean the next hotel that I have to stay in. But then I thought, well, while I'm here, let me at least get some footage for my vlog. So I walked around a bit, but as I was walking around filming, I was getting heated. How dare they exclude a Christian? How can they tell me that I'm not allowed to worship God like them? Just because I'm in a different church. Just because my beard is more full. I mean, this is totally exclusionary. I'm a Christian. And my anger is rising and rising. Mm, I'm starting to hate all, all Greeks. And then I decide, okay, that's enough filming. It's time to go. I'm not going to tell anybody to come here. And then I'm starting to walk out. And who do I run into but the same monk who said that I can't go in. <laughs> and I'm like, I hope he says something to me. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> he said, how was the Vespers? I said, well, it was hard to enjoy it through the wall and the glass. So I left. And I said, you know, I've been to a lot of monasteries. I've been to now four. This is the first time I was, I was excluded, that I was not allowed to worship God. And he kind of said, well, you're allowed to worship God, just not there. <laughs> it didn't make things better. <laughs> and I was thinking, man, mm, I, was, I was heated. I started arguing with the monk in the monastery. It was like telling him, no, I was excluded. This is really hurtful stuff, man. You didn't, I mean, whatever rules you have, I abide by them. I obey your rules, but it was, it felt to me wrong. And he was starting to get into the theological basis of why this is and the church histories. And I don't want to hear it. And I'm just in respect to him. I was just, you know, trying not to blow my top. And then this really old man starts walking down the path. He had to be helped by another monk. And I turned to him. And I look at monk, the monk I was talking to and he said, that is Elder Ephraim. This is the, the man, the holy man who established 18 monasteries in the United States. Spiritual father to dozens and dozens, hundreds. I mean, he is destined for sainthood. And I went up to him, I touched the ground and I put my hands out. He put his right hand in my, in my palm and I kissed his hand and I received his, his blessing. And I looked at him and he had, he was really old, but he had this, it was like a, a high contrast glow like he he stood out like his contrast the contrast on his skin is different than any than anyone else's it was high it was like a, a little glow to it and he was this vibrating holiness you know he had a shake to him and when he gave his blessing to me i start like i was extremely angry because I couldn't attend the Vespers in the main church hall. 
once he gave his blessing to me, I was overcome by just happiness. I started smiling. And the monk I was talking to after the elder, after we, we separated from, from the elder, the monk I was talking to was still going into the theological basis of separating the Armenian Orthodox, blah, blah, blah. I didn't care anymore. I, didn't, I was just in a contentful stupor. I was smiling. And the monk said, oh, I'm sorry. I can see you're having a moment. What was I angry about? <laughs> I've never seen a man as holy as that. You just, you just get overcome because you know he dedicated his life to Christ totally, totally. Wow. And me and the monk, we started talking and I said I was gonna go, I guess the book, the bookstore was was closed and he said well i can open it up and so he walked me in and then we went on to have a very lovely half an hour chat i told him or maybe longer than that uh he recommended a book i don't have the oh i forgot the name it's a book written by elder ephraim and i bought an icon i was looking for the ladder of divine ascent i've been looking for this icon and i found it it is here so me and the monk talked i told him some things some spiritual battles that i was going through uh, we, we talked about different forms of grace how i was giving grace in a big boost a big shot in the arm but he said for other people it's a step-by-step -step. so i i need I need to understand that because I don't meet a lot of people who receive the kind of grace that I have. So then all my anger sub subsided totally. Um, I bought some books. I bought something for my mom. And yeah, I can walk out of here happy that I was blessed uh, by a very, very holy man. And, um, you know, I caught him at this time. There wasn't, there was only one other man there, so it was very quiet. I could absorb his essence. And God bless him. And God bless all the men here who, are, who have dedicated their lives to Jesus Christ. Um, they'll just be forewarned. If you're not Eastern Orthodox, you have to hang out in the Narthex. But... Hopefully, if God wills it, there's, there will still be opportunities for you to experience the holiness that this place has. So, I leave here and I go to Phoenix next.